Last year and this year I've had to teach while living with the threat of losing my job to cuts or my husband who is also in the district losing his job. Last spring for the first time I had anxiety because of looming threats of cuts and I had to seek help from a therapist because of this stress. So I want you to know of the intense mental health toll that this budget situation takes on teachers. Each day I show up and try to be my best self for students but it's really hard to stay in this profession. I want you to hear that. I love kids. I give my heart to being a good teacher, but it is very hard to maintain a healthy work-life balance in this career and to be a good teacher. I work on Sundays. I work at nights. I put in all this effort. And right now, especially social studies teachers are being devalued by our society. We are not trusted to teach our students and we have increasing class sizes. I've taught 34 10th graders this year, I've taught 32 9th graders this year, and it will probably be larger next year, and I'm not sure how I can do that. So it feels not sustainable. The other item that we have on the work session today is budget and reduction uh, process update. Matt, do you want to say a few yeah, words? I, I mentioned that I'd be putting this together in a, in a, in a few tiers. You know, what, what does the lower end of our range look like? What do reductions in the middle of our range look like? And what do the reductions at the high end of our range look like? Um, it is challenging. Um, I think Elise hit a lot on the head with uh, the tough parts of where we're at. And um, it's definitely not where we want to be long term. And um, so we're trying to work through this and, and maintain people's dignity too and uh, respect and um, get through it.